This is brought to you by FrostbiteSystems.com. In this episode today, we're going to install the new Linux Mint 10 with the GNOME desktop 32-bit. Uh, uh, like always, uh, Linux Mint's uh, the easiest to install. So we just come over to the Linux Mint, install Linux Mint icon over here and double-click on that. I highly recommend Linux Mint for uh, new Linux users. Real uh, e easy distro to install and play around with and check it out and stuff. Runs real well. I, I'm a big fan of Mint. I use it all the time. Alright, first step. Select your language. All I do is click forward. Alright, and it's going to ask you to ensure that the computer has at least 2.6 gigs available drive space, is plugged into a power source, and is connected to the internet, and which we are, so we just click forward. Okay, allocate drive space. Erasing the use entire disk is what I always use. Um, I'm always switching distro, so it don't really matter. Even if something breaks, it only takes 20 minutes to reinstall. So we'll just leave it on uh, erase and use the entire disk. Click forward. Alright, it's going to ask you uh, to select the drive, and it's already, it's always usually on there by default. <clears throat> So I'm all set there, and we just click on install now. And this is actually way even more simplified than uh, previous releases. It appears to have a really new look to it too, so I can't wait to check it out. We'll do a tour on that later. Okay, and it's going to ask for your time zone, and it's already set here for where I am, so click forward. Keyboard layout, uh, select your keyboard layout, I'm all set here, so you just click forward. And apparently it installs while it's doing all this other stuff, which is really cool. Save on installation time. Okay, you can just put in your name. Just the name of the computer. Call it Frosty. We'll choose a password here. It's going to ask you to confirm your password. Now you can uh, either choose login automatically, uh, require my password to log in, or encrypt my home folder. I usually just leave it on login automatically. It doesn't really matter for uh, this anyways. I'm going to use a virtual box. So we're all set there and we click forward. And there you have it. It's, uh, Installing Linux Mint 10 on your computer. And there you have it. Uh, it took like a whopping, I don't know, I think it was like 10 minutes. Well, it can't get much easier than that for installations. Now all we have to do is click on restart now. And it will uh, eject the CD and ask you to hit enter. And there you have it. Installation is now complete. I had it set up to log in automatically, but obviously if you set, up, set it up to log in, you just got to put in your uh, name and password and hit enter. And you will be good to go. Hope you enjoy Onyx Mint. Uh, it works real well. 
And remember to check out our blog at frostbitesystems.org. And we also have a newer site now where we have a bunch of podcasts that we do uh, with people from the open source community. We've got Jonathan hosting that, and that's at uh, frostbitemedia.org. And thanks for watching.